The study, encompassing 50 Tungiasis patients, delves into the extensive range of associated pathologies, ranging from moderate to severe disease. The significance of these findings lies in the realization that all children had manipulated lesions, underscoring the distress caused by embedded fleas. Desperation led either the children themselves or their caregivers to attempt physical removal of the fleas. Disturbingly, 96% of the patients perceived a decline in their life quality, with 78% considering the impairment moderate to severe, as indicated by the Modified Dermatology Life Quality Index MDLQI. This level of life quality impairment aligns with other neglected tropical parasitic skin diseases, including scabies, hookworm-related cutaneous larva migrans, and cutaneous leishmaniasis. Sleep disturbances, attributed to pain and itching, were particularly pronounced, given the exacerbation of itching at night. The resulting lack of restorative sleep led to tiredness, mood disturbances, and concentration difficulties, potentially culminating in anxiety over time. Pain management, by avoiding placing the whole foot on the ground, created a distinct gait, recognizable from a distance as characteristic of Tungiasis patients. Such impaired mobility further curtailed the typical leisure activities of children in rural Africa. Beyond physical manifestations, the study underscores the profound psychological impact of tungiasis. Children with a condition face ridicule at school, and the disease's association with poverty intensifies feelings of shame and stigmatization. The research's significance lies in its multifaceted contributions. It establishes, for the first time, that tungiasis significantly impairs life quality, with implications reaching beyond clinical pathology to encompass mental strain and distress. Furthermore, the study establishes a cause-effect relationship between tungiasis and diminished life quality, emphasizing the disease's impact on both individual and public health levels. The results advocate for heightened priority from healthcare providers and regulators in addressing tungiasis underscoring the availability of effective treatment and prevention measures. While the study acknowledges limitations, such as the short observation period and an overrepresentation of males, it successfully demonstrates the urgency for international support to develop interventions and strategies to alleviate the suffering caused by this neglected tropical disease in impoverished settings. Overall, the findings emphasize the need for concerted efforts to combat tungiasis and enhance the overall well-being of affected communities. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.